Yeah, we had a lot of lefties in there today against Cease. Um, but a lot of homegrown guys and young young players with with some nice upside to them, and and uh, quite a test. Yeah, we're facing a, tonight's a, a really good starting pitcher, one of the best in the baseball, and he's got great stuff. So hopefully we can take some good at bats off him. Early in the season, it felt like you didn't have that many lefties to like navigate a lineup like this. How much of a luxury is it now to have? Be able to stack the lineup with lefties against a guy like Dylan. Yeah, we didn't. You know, now we're a lot more balanced offensively with being able to uh, try to match guys up the best we possibly can and give guys days off also, and, and especially this time of year. And um, you know, it's it's definitely a, someone like Cease who's so so good on, against both sides, but especially against right-handed hitters, to be able to have the the ability to put some lefties in there is nice and. Um, and have have a bench as well, and it's something I haven't had here much. And we're getting definitely more balanced offensively, and that's that's uh, that's going to be key going forward. Brandon, you've been through playoff races and postseason games, but a lot of your young players haven't. What's the key to guiding young players through their first experience of this particular experience? Yeah, for me, it's it's. The old cliche of one day at a time really does come into play. It's it's really what's just what's in front of you, not worrying about what teams are doing around you in the standings. Um, just focusing on tonight's game, not doing anything differently than you have the last four and a half months, but just being, uh, you know, ready to play and ready to win, come to the park, ready to win that night, and then do that for for six months. You're you're in good shape. But I just want our guys to continue to. Try to win every night. Try to win every series. Um, we've done a nice job with that. Not look too far ahead, and um, not really change anything. Brandon, we didn't ask you <clears throat> on Sunday. Obviously, there's a lot more going on, um, but you guys won 63rd game. No way for a, for 100 losses. Did that mean anything to you at all? That 100 losses. Did you think about that at all about not having a 100 loss season this year? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's not something I'm real proud of so before, so it doesn't seem like it's a real accomplishment, to be honest with you. Um, no, I don't, you know, you, you want to win as many games as you can. And for me, that's kind of a round number. But um, I just don't want us to stop. I want us to keep playing well, and we'll see where we are at the end. Brandon, you've talked about the challenge that it is for a pitcher to close out a game in the ninth. Small sample so far for Felix. What have you seen? He's got the stuff. What have you seen of the mentality, and has he embraced this? He's definitely embraced it. Love it. I love. Um, I think what's what's been so nice to watch about Felix is the strike throwing ability. It's the not being you give up free passes. He's given up some homers, and he's going to because they square up 100. There's a good chance it's going to be hit, hit pretty well. Um, but like the homer in Texas, we had a I think a four-run lead. The homer in in Williamsport, it's a three-run lead. It's a challenge homer, um, and I think that's it's great. He's not awarding people uh, free bases, not not putting the tying run on, uh, you know. A, on, on base or at the plate because of walks. So the, the ability to, to go after people with confidence has been so impressive to me for, for him. Um, you know, going into this year, walks have been high in his career. He had, I thought in spring training, he, he was you know, commanding the ball fairly well, but you didn't know what it was going to look like, honestly, with major league hitters in a, in a regular season. And he's just pitching with a ton of confidence. And rightfully so. He's got great stuff and a, and a great split to go along with the fastball. And, and the mixing in the slider for me is huge to be able to give them some, another little wrinkle for them to think about being able to throw a slider for a strike. To be able to have three pitches with confidence is really impressive for somebody that's not even pitched a year in the big leagues. And in the moments he's pitched into um, in big spots, he, just, he has been uh, a great story for us this year.